What's up guys, it's Michael here, back on our episode of Between the Two Sales. The content that I want to cover with you guys today, how many times have we bumped into this, came into this problem, we've got a cranky kid in our chair. If you haven't had one yet, you're going to have one. Whether it's uh, first haircut, or he's just afraid of the clippers, what is? what are some distractions that we can use, tools that we might already have in the salon, and some that we could even bring from home, to help with situations like this. So you guys see what we have here. This is not typically what my station looks like. It's pretty close though. However, so one of my go-tos when I have a kid who's crying is using my water bottle to actually double as a squirt gun for the mirror. Um, it can kind of get messy, you kind of got to be careful, but kids really like to watch the water drip down. It totally distracts them from, you know, you're trying to get around the ear or whatever it might be. Um, general toys in general, like I said, um, having a couple of these around helps. Kids, you know, stuff they're recognizable, Disney characters, whatever. This is a silly fun pig. Um, another go-to, so we have these markers in the salon already all the time because we write on the windows for haircut sales and stuff like that. Um, these are awesome to double uh, as like a coloring book. Use your hand mirror and throw one of these. Another great distraction tool. And then if you want to get really crazy sometimes, you've got a kid who's just won't stop crying and can't blow bubbles to save his life like me. Whatever, you get the fruit. You guys get the idea. Bubbles that actually blow and work. Um, some various toys, whatever else you guys um, could suggest to us would be great. Um, in the comments below, give us some of the tips that you use for, to help with um, dis distracting kids through their you know, haircut troubles, like I had said, whether it be a first haircut or they're just having, um, you know, because we always go to suckers and stuff like that, and sometimes the kids can't have the candy or the candy can get messy itself. So these are some alternate alternative uh, techniques that I've seen in the salon here or we've used over the years. Um, whatever you guys got, let us know down in the comments, click that like button, and also subscribe, obviously, if you haven't yet, because this is our new YouTube channel for great clips. Hashtag Stylishood. We'll see you guys.